welcome. I'm so glad you could be with me today and I hope you're all doing really well. Um, today I'm going to be looking at what blessings are coming into your connection with your twin flame soulmate. You know, sometimes it's, you know, nearing to the end of the year, there's a lot of anticipation. There can be a lot of nerves, a lot of fears about what's coming up into next year and, and is it going to be the same as this year or, you know, there's there's been a lot of fear around the uh, collective um, around COVID-19 and, you know, are we going to catch it or are our friends and family okay or, you know, are we going to see people again, you know, but everything's opening up, everything's starting to hopefully go back to some kind of normal um, and what we're doing is moving into a new year with many new possibilities, guys, and, and new opportunities coming your way. Lots of blessings are coming in. It's like we've been riding on this massive ship, um, you know, at night through these amazing, like, storms at sea. And it's all grey and it's dark and gloomy and we're not sure if we're going to be toppled off that boat, you know, into the water, into the doom and gloom and to never be seen again, into the abyss. You know, it's kind of like that feeling collectively that we've all been struggling. We've been trying to uh, tread water for some time now and um, just not knowing if we're just going to be knocked off, you know, um, the face of the earth, basically. It's just kind of like that feeling. It's that dread. It's that stress that we've been holding in our bodies and that tension of the unknown, of what's coming, you know, what's what's going to happen. And um, there is this feeling of peace, all right, coming to us. And sometimes it's the eye of the storm as well. Like sometimes we'll feel like a peace. And when we feel at peace, we're, we're constantly worried, like what's coming next? What's about to happen? Um, because usually when things are going well, something happens. And, you know, it's not always that way. Sometimes when something peaceful happens in our life, it's because we've come out from those clouds and that storm and we're now sm smooth sailing along, okay, into better waters, into calmer waters, uh, as the Six of Swords would say in the tarot. So we're leaving the emotional heavy baggage behind and we're moving into a beautiful future where there's blue skies and rainbows. And not to say there won't be challenges along the way, of course, but... It is like there's been a weight lifted now off the shoulders. There's a feeling of having come out from the worst of it all and being able to return to some kind of normal life again and be around our loved ones and be creative and be expressive and be insp inspired, you know, to be able to get moving and uh, create new possibilities for ourselves, new opportunities that are coming in. We can embrace those with open hearts, you know, and in our connection with our twin or soulmate, whether you're together or not, it's it's going to move into another um, sort of consciousness here. It's almost like you're moving away from all the, the old paradigms here of the fears, the runner-chaser dynamic. It's kind of like a letting go, just... Letting go, surrendering, surrendering to what is, okay, how it is now and how it's going to be in the future or how you want it to be. Those desires can be still there, but the expectation and that holding on out of fear uh, will be let go. And so that's when the blessings will come in. The healing happens in separation, as they say. And a lot of you might have already come to terms with the fact that you're not together and you're happy, you know, you're at peace with that, I should say, and you're happy to just get on with your life and do what you need to do in the meantime. Um, meanwhile, sending love and light to your person and on their journey, some will stay behind and still struggle because that's part of their karmic lesson, karmic journey. Um, some people will just really... Uh, shine through okay and keep moving onwards and upwards and, and striving and persevering and that's the color I got to was the color silver came to mind before and it's quite strong at this time so you might feel that you're being drawn to silver jewelry or just the color silver um, <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly what it's what it's to do with but spirit are giving me that and they're telling me it's to do with perseverance and patience so patience through the journey, persevering through the journey, and maybe wearing silver in some way will help with that. Uh, some of you might wear a silver cross, okay? Silver cross will help you through that. Having faith in your Jesus or Christ or God or the higher consciousness, um, whatever it is, there's some symbolic, uh, there's a connection with that symbol, okay? All right, so 
Um, there's been a cycle for some of you that you have been repeating and it's coming to a close now. So you have, as I said in my last reading, the Tuesday Twin Flame Tarot are leveling up. You're leveling up, guys, and so is your twin. So if they have leveled up before you, you're going to level up pretty soon, not long after them. Because I feel like there's a, a, like a, a wave of Twin Flames and Soulmates, but especially the Twin Flames who are coming in um, to that um, divine consciousness. Like they now have... Uh, had that epiphany, that awakening, that healing journey. It's been bloody tough, but they've gone through it. And now they're leveling up. They're moving into the new phase of their lives. And even in separation, they're doing that individually. But they're doing it together, if that makes sense. So one twin might do it, and then the other twin's following not long after. Because that's how they're aligning their energies with the world and their karmic lessons as well. So they might have very similar journeys in that way. So I do see that there's going to be a lot of unions uh, or reunions, however you want to call that. We're always in union with our twin flame, especially in the 5D. Um, but reunions are going to happen next year in 2022. Now we've got the 222 two, two for next year. Twos are all about balance and harmony. And the twos are also about two people coming together. So when we're looking at love Twin flame, you know, the dynamic soulmates, there's going to be a lot of beautiful harmonious connections next year. Um, and it's already in the making right now. So as I said, there's a closing of cycles of chapters happening very suddenly. There's miracle healing happening very quickly. And the blessings are coming in. They're raining down on us from the skies above, you know, symbolically. <laughs> so, you know, you can feel it coming into your life. And it may not, it could even be just a subtle shift. What was that? I saw something in my camera. It could even be a subtle shift, okay, um, where you might sort of just notice it. You're not, it's not massive. It's not like a sudden uh, change that you just like sudden upheaval. You might just be subtly noticing the shift and, and just going with the flow and loving what you feel and what you're seeing and what's unfolding in your life. And others will have a sudden upheaval where it's a beautiful shock, you know, coming into their life. And sometimes with a sudden upheaval, it can be uncomfortable because we're leaving behind old stuff and, and it's what we know and it's what we're familiar with. But I do feel that a lot of us are going to be like, I'm okay with that. I'm ready to move on now. And that's what's happening is there's this letting go and going with the flow. And when that happens, amazing things are coming into your life. So there could be new career plans or choices, okay, opportunities coming up. Uh, some of you will know what your life mission is and you and you will go for it because that's all part of your journey with your twin flame soulmate as well as to, uh, you know, do better for the world, be better for the world. And that's what, that's what we're all here for is to serve and, and help others. Um, so especially with the twin flame mission, you know, you're both going to come into that and um and there's health improving as well for a lot of us as well so i'm looking forward to that i tell you <laughs> so there's there's health in, improving as we're aligning and ascending we're going through the ascension symptoms and i think this is one of mine right now feeling really run down and my throat's sore and i've been feeling achy and i've already got fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue as it is but this is something new because i haven't had a flu for like three years plus and it's just feeling it right now. I'm just feeling, ugh, you know, hay fever and just congested a little bit. And I'm just feeling like it's so uncomfortable, but I know it's part of all the changes that are occurring, you know, moving into the new reality. It's what they call quantum, the quantum shift, the quantum jumping as well into that new reality that you are wanting to be in. You know, it's the new you type thing. So a lot of people are doing that. They're starting to feel the shift. And they're not feeling sometimes very comfortable in their own skin, um, around relationships even. There's going to be funny little things going on in relationships where you're awkward with each other or you're just annoyed with each other and it's niggly stuff. Um, or, you know, uh, feeling that you just are misunderstood, the other person's not understanding you or you're just not gelling. And that's what's going to happen with some people who are kind of leaving that reality now, like that old, that old reality is being left behind with some people, even who we were really close with, because their views are no longer aligning with our values or our views because we're changing. So 
it's about being able to just accept that, go with the flow and keep going where the universe is guiding you to be because those who are meant to be with you will catch up or vice versa. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a very interesting time. And next year is, is 222, which equals to the number six. I mean, 2021 is the number five. Do you know in the tarot, the fives are all about conflict and chaos and change. And it can be a good change, could be bad change, good chaos, you know. Um, but as we know already, that in our reality over the last year, it hasn't been extremely the best change with the whole COVID thing. Um, the world has had a shake up, you know. Um, at the end of the day, it's allowed Mother Earth to heal. Okay, so we can see that the oceans have become uh, more clearer, the, the waterways, everything, because people aren't polluting it as much. Uh, you know, the, there's almost like Mother Earth had a chance to heal while everybody had to stay locked inside in some way. So there were some good things with that as well. And there's a good thing that comes out from all those things of having to be restricted and locked down because when we look at it, we were able to go within and really reflect and contemplate on, on where we want to be. Some people realized that their jobs were not where they really wanted to be. They needed to be more around their family and have more like want to work from home now. So there's all different changes occurring because of the pandemic, um, which is all meant to be. But some people will stay in a negative mindset and, and remain in victim mode. And some people will learn from that and take the good out of it. Um, so that's all about this year for the changes and the challenges, etc. And it has, you know, helped us to become more resilient in ourselves as well. So we are persevering through it all and we're going to be rewarded next year. So it's in all of our relationships individually. There's going to be rewards coming in. Um, if you believe it, you will, you will receive it. Um, so next year is a 222, 2022. So that's the number six, which is all about harmony and family. It's that nurturing energy. You look at the number six, it looks like a pregnant belly. So it's about the birthing of new ideas and new opportunities coming in and it's family oriented. Um, I'm just trying to think now. Uh, yeah, it's about June. So I'm just looking at that. Uh, Aries, Taurus. What is it? Aries, Taurus, Gemini, uh, Cancer. I'm just doing something in my head. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to work out what spirit are trying to tell me here. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I'm getting... I'm, I don't know why, but I'm getting told it's cancer energy. So it's cancer energy. No matter what the number is, I, I get cancerian energy around next year. Because it's all about home and family, and it's about that nurturing spirit. So it's, it's about people coming back to their home. So the Twin Flame, you know, they are our home. So a lot of, as I said, there's going to be a lot of reunions, a lot of unions, because people are coming back home to their twin. Um, and a, a lot of other people are going to go in different directions away from their twin too and still be on their mission, still individually, independently, be on their path, working on themselves and building their empire, building themselves up, building up their mission um, and getting stronger in themselves. And, and really, um, it's that collective consciousness bringing the light, the healing into the world, as I said. So there's many ways it's going to be happening, but there's going to be a lot of reunions with our twins, with our soulmates, things like that. There'll, there may be soulmates that come back into your life as well. And that's not a bad thing. If they're, you know, if that's a, a beautiful thing you want to do, you want to go for a soulmate, um, then that's meant to be for you, you know, if that's something you want to do. So you might see 333 as well. So that's telling you to keep going. You've got your ascended masters around you. Um, and amazing. Like, I just feel like you're being supported. They have your back and you're being just propelled forward now. It's propelled forward now into the new year. Um, and around March, around March is when amazing things are going to come in for a lot of you. I just get that March energy. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like you're marching along, okay? So you're just going to keep marching along like the crab. I don't know why I keep seeing the crab. It's so weird. The Cancerian energy is so strong. Uh, I'd have to look into that to see if there's anything that's significant because it's just weird spirit of giving me that right now. But it's like you're marching along like the crab that you are. You know, the crabs, how they march along and they get on with the mission that they're on and they're resilient. They're like little soldiers, you know, go going and, and um, doing what they need to do. So you're going to fight for your rights. You're going to stand up for what you believe in. You're going to protect and defend your home. 
um, and your values and what you stand for. You're coming out stronger this year, this, this new year, okay? Then what's happened this year has really taught us so much about how strong we are. We've had to build a shield around ourselves. So it's very much about defending, protecting and honouring our loved ones, our family and coming home to our twin flame as well. Coming home to ourselves, you know, realising who we are within ourselves, that we are strong, loving, healing, compassionate beings here to help others and to um, to let go, you know, and heal from all the resentments and, and the stuff that holds us back and wants to keep us down, that ain't going to happen anymore. It's like we're moving into a whole new reality now. So keep putting it in mind where you want to be, okay, where you see yourself to be, your new self, and the blessings are coming in. But we're going to look further into it now, okay? We're going to see exactly in your, in your connection with your twin flame soulmate what blessings are coming in in the first half of the year, okay, in the first six months of... Um, of next year so we've got here okay so we've got the shell okay this is number one so we've got this interesting little shell here and this is for the sensual wicker tarot reading number one and then we've got reading number two which is this lapis lazuli can see it properly so this is the uh, chakra wisdom tarot number two and then we've got number three which is this little green tree frog <laughs> how cute and it's the light seers tarot okay so I'll give you a moment to focus on the cards as to which ones you feel drawn to just you can close your eyes if you want to and put your twin flame or soulmate in your mind um, or you can look at the the decks here and just see which one draws you in guys and we'll get started shortly hello group one welcome guys you chose the gorgeous seashell it's such an old ancient ancient looking thing isn't it <laughs> and then we've got the the uh sensual wicker tarot so we're gonna have a quick look at what's going on with your divine feminine divine masculine your twin flame soulmate your person whoever you label them is up to you it doesn't matter at the end of the day they're your person um and yeah we're gonna see what's going on okay so the current energy of divine the divine masculine divine feminine's energy for this one please spirit what is the current energy of your person group one so can we forgive and forget surrender putting up the white flag very interesting so we've got the five of wands yeah they're over the conflict now not wanting to have to, um, now these are nude photos, <laughs> if you're thinking, what the hell? <laughs> these are the sensual wicker tarot. There are nude photos, in, like nude pictures in this one. But this shows that they have been feeling, like you can see the wands being pointed at these people here. They're feeling that in some ways there's been some negative negativity, uh, maybe even from you, that's been, you know, pointed at them and they want to let go of the fighting they don't want to fight anymore okay they don't want to argue or fight anymore with you they want to bring in peace now is that what like the peace treaty with the white flag there um so that's where they're at with that so how are they really feeling for you right deep down okay how are they feeling so we've got limited there's nothing i can do about it right now so they are in this place of wanting to surrender uh feeling that you know they give up they don't want to fight um but they're limited on what they can do in because like yeah they're limited in how they feel they can come back to this and and celebrate and it's reunion okay so coming back and uh, having this uh well look at these gorgeous cards i love this this is the harvest this is the indulgence right here this is the rewards okay the rewards they are feeling limited in being able to have this lifestyle with you where they can celebrate and and reap the rewards with you. They might feel that you're, you are a reward that they just can't have right now uh, for whatever reason in their life. They just feel like they, what's going on there? Why can't they, why are they feeling that way? 
because this was reversed, but I wasn't doing reversals today, but I do feel like the message is, is that they feel like they can't get their message fast enough to you. Maybe you've blocked them out. Um, you know, there's this, there's this, feeling that uh, things are delayed, things are slowed down, not going as fast as they want it to be. They, um, in some ways, for some of you, it could have gone very quick, like it might have been that you've jumped in too fast and, and then it fizzled out quite fast. Um, but for the majority of you, I do feel like your person just feels like they can't get that message to you fast enough that maybe there is a block in the road um, so that you're not talking to them. Yeah, there's the death card transformation, so it's kind of like it came to an end. They're limited on what they can do. It's almost like they made their bed, they can lie in it now, sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> so they're undergoing perhaps some kind of transformation themselves, and it's really weird, this picture here, right? This this card makes me laugh in a weird way. Like, it's just so weird. Like, it's just morbid almost. Like, she's she's leaning over this young boy or this young man, um, and smiling almost like sadistically at him, right? And yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just strange. And then we've got the, the clock here as well and the full moon. So I kind of feel in some ways, you know, some they might feel like they've kind of been a bit controlled by someone else or uh, manipulated in some way or something is out of their hands. Um, and... Yeah, it's almost like they feel a bit like no matter what they do, they can't win. So they're feeling limited in what they can do. They might even have somebody in their life who is a bit like that, who is a bit sadistic. Um, and they just feel like that person's holding them back. So it could be a mother figure. Uh, it could be another feminine. Okay, if you're talking about divine masculine, divine feminine here, it could be a feminine energy holding them back. Um, either way, it doesn't really matter. It just shows the energy of somebody who might be trying to hold them back from transforming their life and from uh, getting stronger in themselves to come forward for reunion, okay, for a reunion with you and to to realize that, you know, they already know your worth. They already know how much you're, worth, you're worthy to them, okay, how much they value you. Um, they know that you're the reward. Um but there's definitely something holding them back here. And it, it could definitely be, it might not even be a person. It could just be aspects of their past. Because the transformation is the death card, which talks about letting go of the old. Um, and so there is, there might have been a lashing out at some stage also. And they, they want to take back their words. Um, but yes, there might have been something they've said that they really wish they could take back. So, all right, let's get some good cards. So what's going on here? with the blessings coming in, okay, so, yes, we've got passion here, we've got you make me feel things I can't even describe, so that's really quite beautiful there, um, they're worried that they've been irresponsible in the past, okay, that's part of that transformation energy I just showed you, that they can't keep it together and they've already screwed things up and they they feel like they're carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders when it comes to you and this connection and, and the things that might have been said or done in the connection that they want to surrender now. They don't want to fight you or fight against the connection. They want to surrender and allow things to fall away and come back together. That's what they want because they're feeling a lot of passion here. They swear they didn't do something. So maybe in some ways they were misunderstood, maybe they didn't mean to say or do something, maybe it was misconstrued in some way as well, there could have been another person influencing them and impacting their decisions. And we've got love here, I'm so madly in love with you, so this is their true feelings for you, they are in love with you, they want this life with you. Um, so that's how they're truly feeling deep down, is this regret, feeling um, that you are the person that got away, that's what it kind of feels like here. So what blessing is coming in, okay, into the connection? Love life. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. So this week could be timeless, okay? So it could be literally this week that your person makes a decision that really does, um, you know, affect this positively. Um, it could be that they let go of that person or their influence or whatever it might be in their life right now that's creating this uh, 
block or whatever it might be there. I'm not sure exactly. It could be that you're the one causing the block. You might have blocked them. Um, but they're starting to wake up and realize, okay, what they need to do <clears throat> to make that change. And so I got these gorgeous cards from um, Twin Sanity. Thank you so much, Twin Sanity. These are the Tarot of Sexual Magic. So there's some nudity in these cards. So if you're not into that, you can just click off. It's up to you. I'm not going to go into the whole, you know, 18 plus narrative. <laughs> but it's just some cards I'd like to use today. Um, so there, yes, there is nudity. There is sexual images in here. Um, so yeah, it's up to you what you want to do with that. But I wanted to use a card for each one. Or you can just fast forward. However, if you aren't happy with this, it's fine. Everybody's different. But um, but thank you, Mandy. Thank you, Twin Sanity. So we're going to have a look, okay? So this is for group one. So we've got here the two of pentacles. So it's juggling things as well. But what I see isn't this gorgeous. So somebody might surprise you. Like your person, I should say, might surprise you. They might just come up from behind you maybe literally at a party like if you're at a party somewhere or a gathering they might just tap you on the shoulder and you turn around and see them you know this could be something that comes in uh we've got the love heart here which is so cute and then the star up here as well so it's like a wish coming true for your person to come back to you so regardless of if it's masculine or feminine it feels like they want to come in and show you that you're a priority in their life and it could be that you've turned your back on this person and they really just want to surprise you and, and tell you, like show you that they are there for you. Okay, and the green is also very healing too. So the green is to do with a heart chakra and it's about healing. So they want to come back and, you know, the blessing is that there will be healing if you want to open the door to this person. They are coming from a good place. They are coming from a genuine place that they do want to heal this with you. Um... So if it's a divine masculine that you're dealing with, they want to say to you, I want to be myself with you. And you look good, happy. So they're looking at you and realizing that you're quite strong in your path. You're happy. They, they want to um, have that with you. And you are my greatest teacher. So you've taught them so many things about themselves and, and you might have put up some boundaries as well. And I want you in my life. So if it's a feminine that you're talking about here, it's a, it's a, if it's a feminine, I'm just trying to get all my cards right here. There's so many. I'm using a lot today, guys. Um, if it's a feminine, I am understanding that we are learning from each other. So you're both learning. And why do you always look so good? It drives me crazy that I can't have you. So if this is a feminine coming up behind the masculine, she's like, just in awe of him. And someone might really love the back, like whether it be male or feminine, uh, whichever your person, whoever your person is, they might really like coming up and, and caressing your back or, you know, putting their mouth on your back. It's something that they might want to do. So the feminine says, sometimes I feel like I don't exist to you. And you are so hard to read. Sometimes you confuse me. So there's that... Um, Wanting to make sure things are not misconstrued here as well. So let's see what else is coming in for the connection in the first half of the year. Angel, your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. The angels are surrounding this connection and protecting it, guys. So that's really beautiful. Maybe you've been praying or they've been praying for things to be okay in the connection, especially if there's outside influences there, as we saw before, like an external influence there. So that's something very strong that could be affecting the connection is someone else who's meddling or interfering, um, or could be even a karmic per person, you know, just in their life, a partner. Um, but whatever it is, they, they don't seem to have good intentions. So it's very important that you do protect this connection, but it does look like it's already been connected. Uh, protected, I should say. Look at that star hard times are over look forward to an abundance of happiness enthusiasm and positivity a wish is coming true in your connection and we do see that healing coming through as well so there's angels that are protecting the connection but there's also healing coming in as well which is just beautiful and wow mending bridges i heal rifts i am a mender your relationship is going to be healed that's what this is saying here, that the angels are protecting this connection. 
there's a, an issue being resolved based on a decision that maybe either of you do, but I feel like it's more on their side this time um, regarding that external influence there. So there's going to be a mending of bridges. It's going to be almost like you join and meet together halfway to mend that bridge as well. So there could be a, a compromise on both sides that you both want to do, you know, that you both agree to. So they say to you, our souls already know each other, don't they? He whispered, it's our bodies that are new. So in other words, you might feel new to each other again, you know, physically when you come back into each other's lives uh, or reconnecting even sexually, like you might feel like it's all new, but familiar, but beautiful and surrounded by the angels. I'm telling you, this connection is divinely protected by the angels. So four, 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 miracles are happening. So that's a beautiful blessing coming in is that the angels are bringing in the miracles for the healing to come, okay, into, into this, for the communication to occur as well. And I remember you. So it's like that Skid Row song, I remember you. Um, but also at the same time, he or she is saying, I remember who you are to me. I know who you are. So for some of you, you know, if you haven't met in person, um, when you connect physically in person, it's almost like they're going to be f like touching your body and feeling like I know you. I've, I've always, you know, I feel like home with you. I feel at home with you. I like, I really do feel like I've known this body and soul forever. And things aren't always as they seem. So being open minded about that and you will be in my heart until death and beyond. And you are always so sweet. And how I wish I could hold you tonight. So there's a very strong physical aspect here as well. Your person wants to be able to hold you. Um, so let's have a look. That flew on the ground. Look at this. Miracles ahead. Communication is coming. Now, if, you're in, if you've blocked each other or whatever's happening, um, there's communication coming in the physical, I feel. But look at this. 5D cosmic connection. Meeting up to talk and make love in the 5D, in the astral Okay, so spiritually you're meeting up and talking, you're making love, but there's a physical aspect here as well. It's, um, you know, meeting up and aligning in the physical, in the 3D to also um, have each other. And look, 1111 doors are opening. So when you see 1111, realize that new opportunities are coming. Okay, new doors are opening up for this connection, for the union. And also 444 reminds you that the angels are surrounding this connection as well. So, wow, love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. That is absolutely amazing. So there's definitely communication. You're either going to get a text from your person or you're going to hear their voice, which is just beautiful. And, you know, it's going to be something that um, might even shock you. They might come out with something that you've never heard before. Like maybe it's an apology. You know, maybe they... they, they look back and, and say something to you about, you know, um, their regrets or they might come forward and just out of the blue message you and you're just like, wow, after all this time, I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. And it's, it's almost like you're brand new with each other again. It's almost like getting to know each other. So what are they coming through with? Imaginative. So they're imagining you, they're um, opening their mind, they're not tunnel vision. They're expanding their, their views, okay? So that's really awesome. And then we see truthful, which is really good because we saw that, that card before that said lies or something. What did it say? No, innocent. It said innocent, I didn't do it or something. I swear I didn't do it, innocent. So it's almost like um, there might have been some trust issue, okay, whether they did or did something or didn't do something. And they're coming through with truth and emotionally available to you. And lovesick, so they're going to be lovesick, like in love with you, which is just awesome. So you, <laughs> you're going to be feeling like, what is this? Are they are they drunk? <laughs> like it's it's almost like um, a whole new person you won't recognise. So because there's been a release, see, autumn time, uh, whether it was literally in fall doesn't matter, but there's been a release. There's been a release of um, pain. There's been a release of, um, yes, the, the betrayal, the pain, okay? It's been a time for healing and recovery now. They've had time to reflect on the cycle that you guys were in. And it might have been 
there might have been a betrayal, there might have been a quick cut off, a quick ending, something ended quite painfully here, a ghosting, whatever there might have been, um, that now that's being released, the pain of the past is being released now. Um, where healing and mend, you know, mending those bridges can come in now, which is just awesome. And um, look at that, the guiding light is the star in the sky. I'm telling you, it's like the guiding light is also your own inner light. But the angels are coming in to show you the way. Show you, navigate out of times of, you know, maybe um, you might catch yourself falling into it where you start to feel resentful or upset or reminiscing on the past and dwelling. The angels are going to help to guide you out from that narrative because you're shifting into a new reality and waiting and observing serenity in nature. So it's, you know, um, time to take... Uh, take time out in nature and just ground your energy and wait before reacting. You might get a call, you might get an invite to something and you can just take your time to work out how you feel about it. Um, where do you want to meet? Maybe somewhere outside, outdoors. Um, but yeah, it's really important that you just sit back and just wait to see what you feel because you might have fears coming up. So don't react from fear. That's what that's saying. Wait and observe what's ha actually happening within your body and how you might have reacted in the past. Are you going to react the same? Okay, so let's get another card. So we're going to be looking at... So yeah, just being aware of how you might react when your person comes forward and, and starts contacting you or saying things you're not sure of because you might be a bit wary. Um... So just sit back and just wait and don't respond straight away. You might just want to say, you know, even if they're right on the phone with you, you might, you might want to say, oh, yeah, it sounds good, just I'll, I'll get back to you or something. Whatever it might be, just um, don't let your fears take over. Um, okay, so I didn't shuffle on that properly. Hang on a minute. So... All right, what other blessings are coming into this connection, please, Spirit? Reading number one. They want to come out, but then they're going back in. <laughs> so, fair few energies, wow. Oh, right, there's a fair few here. So, we've got the Metal King, Discipline, Armor, Boundaries. Okay, so Boundaries. We've got the Sun, Dances, Joyful Activity, Celebration of Life, Abundance. We've got the Eagle King, the Big Picture, Angelic Help. Again, the angels are coming in to help both of you see the bigger picture of this connection, okay, and of the lessons in the connection because they're going to help you to realize um, also that these, these, this armor that you've both held up, okay, against each other doesn't no longer need to be there. If anything, you're not really trying to, to cocoon yourselves away from each other, but just the fears, okay. Yes, there might have been hurt from either one of you. Um, to the other one, but the angels are helping to come in with that healing so that those that uh, Huge armor and shields and all sorts of things like ready to go into battle with each other is going to dissipate It's going to dissolve away um, Because there's a celebration of life and abundance coming through. This is also the Sun energy which reminds me of um, Like the Leo the lion, you know having the courage to to let go let go of all the things that uh, you feel you need to protect yourself against regarding each other. But I feel like in some ways it's healthy to have some kind of boundaries. It is healthy to protect oneself, especially if there's um, that inter interfering energy I could see in their side there. Like it's not a very nice energy. Um, so it's okay to protect yourself, but protect the two of you. Cocoon yourselves in the connection together. I do feel like the angels are coming in also. The camel boy, small steps asking for help. So don't forget to ask the angels for help if you need help um, as well. Like they're going to help you also to take small steps. Don't have to jump right into this. You can wait and observe and take your time because healing does take time sometimes with somebody. You don't, you don't just rush in and start from where you were, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like you might both take small steps towards each other and just... Go with the flow and enjoy life with each other. Enjoy the special times together. You know, you might want to keep a bit of a healthy distance at the same time as you get to know each other again and, and build that trust again. Uh, but, yeah, it's just it's interesting. So we've got camels, eagles, you know, different things here. 
which are different signs once again. Someone might live out in a dry area, dry country. Um, we've got the eagle, which represents the USA as well. So it could be anything like that that's a connection for you guys. Um, yeah, so they might have come across as quite cold, or you might have, but that's gonna that's going to dissipate. I feel like the sun and the warmth is coming through in the connection, and once you realize that they mean what they say and they're coming from a sincere place, I think that your your barriers will come down. So manifest destiny. I think about my future with you all the time. I'm manifesting our future into reality with my thoughts and intentions. It is divine destiny for us to be together in union in this lifetime. So this is showing that your person's manifesting you. They're manifesting this um, love with you. Whether they're subconsciously or consciously doing it, they're doing it. Um, so once again, the number four is all about stability, it's security, it's having that strong foundation and, and that um, feeling that um, you're home to each other. Okay, once again, they're, they're manifesting you because they feel like you're their home, you're their other half. What do the angels want to say now that we're talking about the angels? <laughs> so... Adriana says, I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps. I am communicating I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts and dreams. See the small steps here? Please listen to and follow the steps. So the angels are guiding you step by step along the way. Um, on, you know, coming back together with your person. On trusting in your intuition on how to respond or how to deal with things. Because it seems like there's been a bit of a history for some of you here. And for some of you it might be a shock. You might have thought, I've let this go. I don't want this. I'm moving on. And then bang, they're, they're texting you or ringing you, okay? Uh, Zana, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I asked you to relax and feel safe. So once again, you don't need to ha have this huge barrier and armor on, okay, with this person because I feel like they've gone through a journey. They have had time to reflect um, and they want to make things right. And also, Indriel, you are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants because you are an earth angel. So you have a light within you that needs to shine bright. See how this... this candle here is like it's uh, dimmed right down and this one's shining bright I just noticed that before and I thought don't let anyone dim your light keep shining okay take time out to rest and recover if you need to your person can also be the light they can also give you uh, energy as well if it's coming from a good place so you know you don't have to shut them out because they're coming through with that peace treaty that white flag they want to come in and share their light and love with you um, so you have a mission here. Keep shining your light. Don't allow yourself to hide away uh, in the darkness, in fears, okay? Allow yourself to receive the love that you deserve. Your person wants to give it to you. Um, so let's see what's coming up. So surrender to the divine. There's that surrender again. So your, your person is surrendering. They're asking you to as well. Surrender to the mission, your mission here, surrender to love, surrender to the angels to come in and help, surrender to your person who's coming in with good intentions. Because um, the full moon energy is also letting go and, and, you know, not holding huge expectations. The work has already been done. The intentions have already been set. It's now time to just let things. Um, it's like that climactic period. It's like things are coming to... Um, a climax now and it's just about time now to open your arms ready to receive all the blessings that are coming in because you're sending you've already sent it out to the universe both of you really what you both want and it says expect powerful change look at that so expect a powerful change to come in expect the unexpected because the powerful change is going to be unexpected um, for some of you it's going to be like wow what the hell's going on here like this is amazing um, you know, even with the love that you might feel come back for your person that you thought had died. Um, that's amazing. So what do you need to release? So think about what is it that you need to release that you're holding on to that might be a fear. Um, 
You know, you might think, I don't have fears, I just don't want this. And there, there might be something deep within you that you might be thinking, well, why am I watching this video then? If I really don't want it, why am I watching this? So you've got to think about that. And you've got to think, okay, there is a love there. I've pushed it down so far. I've been hurt. I've pushed it away or I'm trying to. Um, and this person's saying, well, I don't want to be pushed away anymore. I want to come forward and show you what I'm really about and what my true feelings for you are. Um, so there is a, a like a... Um, opportunity for you guys to have something really beautiful here and to mend those bridges together so basically what we're seeing here is that your person wants to come back and call you okay they want to contact you because they they feel like something's not finished with you it's unfinished there's the destined love here they feel like well they are madly in love with you they want they want to break free from this sadistic whatever this is sadistic personality trait or addiction or karmic partner or a karmic family member whoever it is there's something that's been influencing them and maybe draining them of their energy has been kind of like brainwashing them in some way because they want to come back and reunite with you that's what they want to do is is reap the rewards with you you are the reward um yeah they really want to come forward fast and quickly with this message for you you might start, like get an, like it's an impulsive energy. You might get a sudden message from your person that's a bit shocking for you. It might be surprising to you because they're madly in love with you and they swear they didn't do something and they are carrying the weight of the world because they know they have done things. They have been irresponsible and they, yet they have so much passion for you. But the angels are surrounding you guys. And, you know, this is what's going on. The angels are surrounding, surrounding you both and reminding you both of what you both need to release here as well. So release the stuff that no longer serves you because you are protected always. They're manifesting you. So expect powerful change because, the, the, the you know, the universe is saying surrender as well because amazing things are coming in and you're going to be given the the bigger picture here as well um, to realize what your relationship really means but there's going to take small steps in this to rebuild it again and you need to face your fears okay so yeah bringing down those barriers as well and celebrating life together trusting in the guiding light to show show you the way um, and there's been a lot released here as well for the two of you they're going to come through lovesick that is so it's, it's amazing that is so emotionally available, which is why they, you know, they might not have been emotionally available. They might have been hiding away. They might have been putting up defenses and guards and fighting with you and resisting the connection. Because uh, that's what that showed before with the fighting. Um, but they don't want to do that anymore. So they want to let the past go with you. They want to heal this with you. I'm just going over this again quickly. They're going to call you, okay? They, they want to make... Uh, like have connection they want to give you truth in that phone call okay or that email or text or whatever it is even in person contact they want to give you the truth now because miracles are coming in okay around this they want to let you know things aren't always as they seem there's been a lot going on for them that maybe you're not even aware of that other entity or whatever it is that's been around them but the angels are coming in to protect this they want to help you to heal and mend the bridges um, as well so yes your person's surrendering to this right now and it says here, uh, affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision. So they're going to make the right decision. That's what it looks like here. And so let's get, okay, as a, as a thing here, let's get a mess, like a number. So I want to get a number for you. Let's get some numbers for the angel message. I'm going to get four numbers, okay? One, two, oops. Three, four. So that's kind of like going like that. So we got a three and a five, two, nine, three, five, two, nine. So what I do with this, this is from Mandy as well, Twin Sanity. Thank you so much. This is going to be the numbers we're going to do. Okay. So the first one I'm going to do is number three. This is just how I do it. Okay. So just how I've been guided to do it. And there's going to be a few messages here. So just take what resonates and you can leave what doesn't. But it says here for number three, you are on the road to growth and expansion. The path is unfolding with perfect timing. So you're both growing and expanding and it's perfect timing coming in. The path is unfolding for you guys. So number 35 here says your angels and guides are ready to support you through any changes you need to make to be more at ease. 
So they're helping you to feel comfortable, okay, to be as comfortable as you can with the changes. So then we've got the number 52. So challenging conversations will take you to a place of certainty and understanding. Be open to hearing the truth. <laughs> this is so weird because we said before some misunderstanding has occurred here. They feel misunderstood or you feel misunderstood. There's been something misconstrued. The truth is coming out in a, com in a beautiful, loving com uh, conversation. Okay, so they're coming through. They want to they clear the air with you. So we've got the number 29. So powerful goddess and divine mother energy is surrounding you. You are being enveloped in love and compassion. That's so beautiful. So I'm now doing 352. So input in your relationships will be worth the effort. You are doing the right thing. How beautiful. And 529. You are experiencing changes that will improve your relationships with the important women in your life. Mother healing is possible at this time. So feminine energy is really important here as well. Embracing that in your, in your life, in your daily life. You know, maybe even yourself, whether you're male or female, just embracing that femininity within healing mother, motherly issues. Things like that can be very beneficial. So I just want to do one more thing which is get the charms because I know you guys love the charms. <laughs> it's going to be a long reading today, but I've been guided to do it this way. So let's do it. Group one. So we've got the turtle. So yes, there's delays. There's the shell. See the, the shell, the armor. So it's, it's like, you're still going to have it, but you don't necessarily need to carry it for too long. Okay. So it's, it's almost like, uh, things will be delayed, but in that time you'll be realizing that you don't need to overprotect so much. And there's a shell, so someone could live near the beach. Someone's name might be Shell. And we got the, the purple ring, so it represents commitment. Um, I feel like it's a higher love here. This is a, a beautiful, divinely guided love here. And someone is secretly in love. So I feel like they're lovesick. I think they have more feelings for you than you realize. And then we've got the fork here. So they want to make you a dinner or take you out for dinner. We've got the musical symbols. So they are musically, um, maybe they're a musician. Uh, they're thinking about music with you. They want harmony with you. We've got the scissors here too. So they're still cutting something out of their life. They're about to. And we've got the five cent echidna. Okay, five cent Australian coin, which is the echidna, which is a playful energy. Um, and the number five is all about changes and and. Um, chaos can be that as well but I feel like the five could be May next year something significant happening and we got the Cancerian once again I said this in the intro about cancer so something very strong and resilient about the crab shell as well once again a shell armor so it's just being able to come in stronger together than what you were but not against each other and so also this is home and family. Your person feels like home to you and vice versa. And that could be between May and July. Something amazing happens for you both. There's a seahorse here as well. So we've got some stuff. Someone definitely could live near the ocean, but they want to take more responsibility in your connection as well. Um, take more of a role, you know, a responsible role. And uh, it's monogamous. So they want to be there for you. They don't want anyone else. So we've got some letters. We've got a J and a Z. Okay, we've got a V and an M for Mary. We've got a W, an E and an N and an X. So I see the word X, E-X, and it does look like that there's a letting go of an X. So both of you need to let go of that energy from the past. Um, yeah, Mex Mexican, Mexico, might like Mexico f Mexican food. Um... There's not much else I can really see here, I don't think. But that's what this is. J-E, okay, Jen, is it Jen? No, yes, there is an N. So Jen, Jennifer, Jenny, it could be someone's name, Jen. Um, got men here as well, men. Uh, got the word new, new, so they could feel new to you. Like, once again, you feel like you're newly coming into this together. Jew, Jewish, someone could be Jewish. Um... 
Yeah, that's all I've got really. M, J, E, W, X, N, V, and a Z. So guys, if that has resonated, please comment below. Don't forget to put a green heart in the comments section. If you want to be in the draw to win a private reading with me, or to go in the draw to win a deck of my cards, Divine Love Messages from your Twin Flame Soulmate, and they say to you, be patient, okay? Because there's a, there's a bit of a journey going on here. Be patient with yourself, with your own healing as well, guys. I'm just going to quickly pick out one more thing I forgot to actually get out, <laughs> which is annoying me now because I've just realized, um, which is the healing, okay? Whispers of healing. So kindness is coming into your relationship together, which is just beautiful. You're going to open up your hearts to each other and, and come from a new place together and rebuild that trust and be like, you know, like children together in awe, celebrating and enjoying life together. It's going to start to grow really beautiful like that, I feel. So that's what that is, guys. I hope that's resonated and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. Hi, group two. Welcome, guys. You chose the lapis lazuli. So I'm going to put this over here and the uh, Chakra Wisdom Tarot. So first up, we're just going to see what's going on with your person as we normally do. Their energy. What energy is your person currently in? Uh, regarding you and this connection, what current energy are they sitting in right now? Which is courage. I think I can fix this. So they're trying to build courage for something. Look at that. I love that. It's got like the cape. You know, it looks like a cape. Um, almost feeling like they have to build their courage to um, be like a superhero, you know, come in and save the day, save the relationship. So what's the current energy, please, spirit, with that? So we've got the Three of Cups. Wow, this is so beautiful. This is the courage to come back to you for reunion, to celebrate with you and to... Um, yeah, I mean, it takes a lot, doesn't it? It can feel like a responsibility um, to make things right, to come back with goods, you know, with goods <laughs> in hand, because it could be actually a surprise, like they might want to give you something as well to help try and win you over in some way. Maybe that's going to help them to um, come forward, you know, if they do have a little gift to give you as well. It's appreciation. It's like, like a token of their appreciation of you and their love for you. Because sometimes words just aren't enough. I'm just going to check something. I do have my flash on, but it just doesn't look as bright as it normally does. It's so weird. So, okay. So, it's interesting that's just happened because I'm thinking this yellow is like the solar plexus. You know, this is, this is courage. This is coming forward with that strong willpower as well. Um, and they want to, maybe at the moment, they're feeling like they're... They're trying to build up that courage, build that light within them. Um, so it's really interesting. I said this in the first reading that this candle has kind of dimmed down and this one's burning brightly. So they might be feeling that they don't have a lot of energy at the moment to come forward and, and make it right with you. They're, that's the energy they're sitting in, though, is thinking about this. They're feeling it. Uh, it's definitely something they want to do. So... And I get the Leo the Lion energy, right, with this one as well. So let's see, how are they really feeling for you right now? So we've got irresponsible, I can't keep it together, and I know I've already screwed things up. So there's this energy of here of having to make things right, wanting to come forward with, you know, offer an offer. And maybe offering the cup of love to you as well is a really scary thing. So I'm getting butterflies with this as well. So I feel like... Um, they could have been drinking or they might be drinking at this moment, you know. They might be just unable to, uh, you know, sometimes when people feel nervous, they might have a drink, uh, like an alcoholic drink to kind of make them feel a bit more confident. And I wonder if your person might do that, you know. They might, be, they might want to meet you somewhere where you can have a drink together. <clears throat> it could be a gathering that you meet each other at. Uh, it could be a party or some kind of... Uh, family gathering, maybe you know each other through families uh, or friends even. Um, I feel like for them, they would feel better to be in a bit of a crowd with you rather than on their own with you, like one-on-one -on -one because it's a little bit intimidating for them. So in some ways, they might have a drink to, you know, give them some confidence in able to, being able to approach you or speak to you. Um, 
sorry, that's just a door in the background. So that's interesting, the door's making noises. So I'm wondering if they're going to come to your door, you know, with somebody or uh, with some people. They might want to pick you up from your door. Um, this is just for some of you, not all of you. Um, but I do get that kind of, I'm, as I'm talking now, I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling really nervous. So I am feeling their energy uh, that they might stutter and like a little bit lost for words. They don't really know how to come forward because I kind of think that they feel in awe of your energy of who you are maybe you are someone of good social status and they look up to you they might be good with social status as well but when it comes to you um there's something about you that just gives them butterflies and makes them sort of turn like like they, they turn like jelly like they just um yeah <laughs> it's kind of weird like it's 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 really cute in a way too there's too many cards there. Hang on a minute. So we've got, what's what's their true feelings? What are they feeling for you at this time, group two? Okay, we've got death and we've got the seven of coins. So this is interesting, both purple, which is the height, the, um, I can't even talk. This is funny. The crown chakra. All right, so it represents, um, there's a transition going on here. I feel like they want to let go of something from the past. They want to let the past go. They want to, um, they're very invested in this with you. Till death do us part, I'm hearing. So they really, like, they really believe that you are their person. I had a knock at the door, which is very interesting, guys. So I feel like your person could definitely knock on your door uh, any day now. You know, this is somebody who's waiting to reap the rewards. Like, um, it's time to just, be patient and wait and I feel like that's something they're doing is, is waiting patiently for the right time um, because something's had to come to a close maybe between you in some kind of cycle um, they're trying to let go of something from the past or they're hoping that you have and because we've also got the Knight of Cups oh yeah this person has some very strong feelings for you they're very deep but they're, they're, they want to sweep you off your feet. They know your worth. Um, but they know that at the same time, uh, they want to work on themselves a little bit more. They still have a little bit of growing up to do. And um, <laughs> they definitely could drink, I tell you now. Because I'm seeing cups everywhere. Glass of wine or, you know, a beer or whatever it might be. They really just want to, it's almost like that celebration, like clink glasses with you as well. Like it's, it's really, they want to celebrate life. They want to celebrate this way forward with you. It's just really quite beautiful. So what blessings are coming in, okay? So we've got here, assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for soulmate connections. Birth of a child is also likely. Wow, so this is about being clear on what you want and this is what's happening. Maybe you have told the universe they're very assured of what they want. They're assured, okay, they know what they want. They want you. Um, they want to have this life with you. So this is what they want is you. Um, soulmate connections are happening. So it definitely looks like if you're wishing for this person to come back into your life, at some point it's going to happen in the next within the first uh, half of the year, okay, of 2022. This is what we're asking about. Um, I never say anything set in stone because, as we know, we do know life is fluid. Anything can happen at any given time. I mean, it could happen tomorrow for some of you, you know, um, or it could happen later in the year next year. But we are asking about the first six months of the year. And this is amazing energy right here building up. Um, some of you might be pregnant, okay? Some of you might be pregnant either to someone else or to this person or you're going to have a child together or you know the birth of something it doesn't have to be an actual child but there is a birth of something here really beautiful so what are they what are you giving birth to if it's not a child the ten of wands is being able to let go of the past cycle it's this is the cycle okay coming to an end the ten of wands is those burdens and responsibilities but see how she's got sunflowers which is hope you're giving 
birth to hope and a brand new future together. Once again, another yellow card, which is a solar plexus taking control, being assertive, being confident in where you want to direct your life to be. And you're going to choose which responsibilities you take on. So this is going to be the blessings that come into your lives together. This is really beautiful. <clears throat> so you get to choose, okay, in the following... Um, you know, within your relationship also with this person, if you do end up re reuniting, um, you can both choose what you're both going to be responsible for in the connection, uh, where you both want it to go, who's going to take the lead, that kind of thing as well. And you're both going to take on the challenges together. It doesn't look like one person has to deal with everything on their own and, and wear the weight of the world, world on their shoulders. It's going to be something I feel like your person wants to take the load off your shoulders. They might even want to massage you. You know, this is a person I see who would want to come in and, and massage you. So let's see what else, okay? These are these gorgeous cards that I got from Twin Sanity. Thank you, Twin. So this is the Tarot of the Sexual Magic cards, which does hold nudity so and sexual, you know, positions and things like that. So if you don't want to see that, you can just fast forward through. Um, but this is something I wanted to use just for today's thing here. So we've got the Three of Cups again. Look at this. Three of Cups, Three of Cups. They just want to enjoy you I'm telling you and give you pleasure they want you to they want to celebrate you okay that's what this person wants to do with you is celebrate you and give you pleasure they it's almost like you don't even have to give it back to them like they just want to give they want to serve you see the night is all about service so your person whether it's male or female wants to please you wants to serve you, wants to take on the responsibilities, wants to take the lead. Maybe in the past they didn't. Maybe they were irresponsible and just were a bit wishy-washy or didn't know where they stood in this. And now they want to tell you, I'm taking the reins, okay? I'm going to lead the way forward. And I want to explore your body and your soul and your mind and your heart. I want every inch of you. I want, I want to explore this relationship with you. I want this new beginning with you. And I want to be at your mercy and your beck and call and everything. It's, it's almost like they are putty in your hands. Um, and it's not, you know, it's not in the way that you would be like, oh God, you know, grow a backbone or something like that. I just feel like um, it's not like they are... Um, uh, what am I saying? It's not like they are doing this to the point where they don't have any self-respect or anything like that. They're not, you know, what am I saying? Um, gushing all over you and being silly like that. But I feel like it's just that they want to take control now. They want to show you how much you mean to them. They will do anything for you to win your love. Like they really want to, you know, try and express that to you. But it's not just the Knight of Cups because the Knight of Cups can be very irresponsible. Once again, the irresponsible energy. The Knight of Cups can come through with m amazing, beautiful love and, and that romantic side, okay? The feelings are there and they just, they do can, they can gush out their love for you and and propose to you and all those things. But where's the practical side, see? And I feel like your person definitely wants to bring in the practical side. And that's why they're taking their time to work on themselves. And taking their time to build their courage to have something of value. And, and that's practical as well to offer you as well. Alright, let's see. If they're a masculine, what do they want to say to you? <clears throat> I want to introduce you to my family as my one. So they want to embrace you into their family. And what else? Oops. I can't stop loving you. I never meant to cause you pain. I want you to trust me again. How could I hurt you like that? I think about you all the time. And marriage sounds good with you. A true commitment, okay? Reunion, celebrations, marriage sounds good with you. I care what you think and I'm afraid of failing you. So there is this fear and I mean that's good because that means that they do care. They're not just going to come rushing in, um, you know, like crazy and just 
gallop away again like I feel like a knight of wands might do like they want to come in and show you I, I want to work on this with you I'm not perfect and I'm sorry I've hurt you but I do hold these true feelings for you and I, I, will, I will do anything to win your love now is this is a divine feminine she says if you want me then let me know I can't read you and can we meet up and talk this out so she wants to have that um, assurance that you want to meet up with her before she comes forward. And I don't want anyone else. Just one look make <laughs> just one look from you makes my knees go weak. See, I can't even talk. Like if this is her energy here, if this is a feminine, she is seriously going weak at the knees. She can't even look at you. She's nervous. Can we start again? I love you and I know that you love me. So you both want to start you know, again, and I am learning to let go, whatever will be, will be, but I'm tired of being without you, and I want to do the normal things that couples do, and I want to do that with you, so let's see what other blessings are coming into the connection for this first six months okay wow <laughs> unity this is so beautiful a time of divine understanding renewal peace and hope you radiate and attract great love there's union guys there's union for many of you there's going to be union and goals progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved how beautiful so even independently of the connection there's goals that you're both moving towards that you're achieving which helps with your self-confidence to help you grow um, and look at all the gold see it could be abundance money career finances but also the gold of you know the solar plexus up here so there's a lot of abundance and protection around this connection as well so look at that underneath the fool have the courage to embrace change take risks be adventurous so there's new, there is definitely a chance to jump into this relationship together at the right time <clears throat> for both of you, you know, when the right time is. And improving health. So if you've been having health issues, this is a sign that your health will improve. So here we've got the purple and the blue flowers too. There's the crown chakra and the, and well, it's almost like an indigo, like is the third eye. You've got to visualize yourself being healthy. There's green in there as well, as well, which is the heart chakra, but it's also the healing energy, okay, the healing color. So you've got to visualize that healing energy all around your body, mind, and soul, okay, and your emotions, everything. Um, see it. See yourself healthy. See your relationship healthy. See your heart chakra healed, that kind of thing. Make a wish because they're coming true. Miracles are happening next year, even now. So make a wish, especially if you see a dandelion. Definitely pick it up and make a wish, okay? Because it's quite a powerful time for dreams to come true and miracles to occur. So standing firm. I am noble, brave and strong. You're both standing strong. See this assertiveness coming through from both of you on the path, which is awesome. You both know what you want and you're going to go for it. And both of you know that you want each other and it's like you're going to go for that. You know, you both are going to tell each other, well, I want this too. Yeah, it's really awesome. <clears throat> so winter recovery. So maybe at the moment there is time for you both to recover. Uh, whether it be, you know, your feelings, your emotions, your body, whatever needs recovering at this time, allow it to, allow it to recover. Sacred sexuality. You both share a very sacred sexuality. Uh, it's almost like that tantric sex. It's not just bodies mingling, it's emotions, it's the souls. And they feel this with you, like you are their person, they're drawn to you, they're magnetically drawn to you. And they desire you. And then and you're both meeting up in the 5D and making love. You know, that's something I see there as well. And they're manifesting you. So raise your vibration. You are manifesting. You're both raising your vibration, okay? That's what's happening through following your goals and dreams and visualizing yourselves in a positive way and desiring each other even from afar. You're bringing each other in. You're bringing in the miracles and the healing that's necessary. And unconditional love, let it flow. So if you're seeing eagles or if you're seeing swans, you know, today, that that's your sign. 
things are happening in this connection breakthrough see marching ahead i think i said that in the intro about marching ahead keep going because there's breakthroughs coming in this connection it's really quite beautiful So we've got camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past and making memories. You are both, maybe, I don't know if you are, but I know your person, I can feel it, is looking at your photographs. They're going over photographs, they're reminiscing, they even might be looking at your social media, at your pictures and your photographs on there, and they're remind, like remembering okay, old memories when they were with you, maybe even intimately when they were with you. Um, and they just look up to you. You might, as I said before, I think I said you might have some social status. They look up to you. And um, some, someone might be a photographer or like photography. Um, there's definitely a picture they keep on them. I feel like for some of you only, it's not going to be everybody, but for some of you I actually feel they keep a picture of you in their wallet, uh, in their pocket. There's, there's something about this, okay? in a piece of jewelry I don't know what it is maybe even on your phone there could be a, like a, a like a like on the lock screen or something they have a photo of you there's, there's something going on there so let's have a look what positive energy is coming through in your connection next year in love oh my gosh this is so gorgeous so you're both going to be in love you are in love encouraged encouraged comes with that word courage in the word encouraged is the word courage so you're both going to be encouraged to take a step towards this it's really beautiful and helpful as well so i feel like that's that's their energy wanting to come through and be helpful and generous with you they might not have been like that before they might have been holding back but they want to open up now and give you everything that you deserve adventurous is coming through we saw that with the full card just before. They want to have an adventure with you. There's adventures that you can have together, analytical. So it gives you a chance to reflect also and look at, look at things, um, you know, through the, the, like not just feelings, but through your mind as well, reflecting on the things that uh, are joyful in this connection and the things that might need improving, all those things they want to say to you. I am drawn to your deep intelligence and wisdom. It's right there. See, they love your analytical mind. And it may be that both of you really do. Um, you know, some people just bounce off each other in conversation and it's just something that they really just thrive on is these deep conversations or philosophical conversations or, you know, picking your brain. And I think that's something your person might really like doing with you is just really getting to know you and what makes you tick and vice versa. And I can't bear to build it all again to watch it wash all wash away. So there might be that fear. See, the courage is being built with that. But everything you've ever said to me, I've taken to heart. So everything you've ever said, they've taken it. They've held it within their heart. It's a very special thing. All the things, even maybe the things that were not so nice, they've taken it and, and looked within and, and reflected on it. I only want to be with you. I'm leaving a karmic situation behind. So, you know, sometimes people see the threes as a third party, so they could be with somebody that they're leaving right now. And I want to come back to you, hold you, kiss you and love you. I desire it, but it is just not the right time right now. So right now, as we're doing the reading, um, this is, you know, something, and I know this is weird to say because I'm saying the next six months in the new year but I mean this is a timeless reading so whenever you're seeing this reading it could be the next six months okay <clears throat> but right now as you're watching it they're saying I'm not ready just yet I have to still build myself up a bit and work on myself a bit more I am building my courage to come back but not right now and you're the only one that I would give my life for I was thinking about reaching out to you but then I panicked and stopped myself I feel very insecure so yeah, they're still needing to build themselves up. I could sense that nervousness uh, within them. And so we've got here the web weaver, synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. And we've also got this one turned up, the resting tree, patience and stillness. So there is a time for uh, patience definitely in this. And we also see that, you know, they're noticing signs. You're both going to notice them actually. Um, that in times of stillness and just waiting, whatever will be, will be, 
Um, there's, you know, this um, synchronicities and signs will come through. You're going to start seeing them. We've got the number 22. You might see that uh, often, you know, the number 22. And we see the number 4. So fours and twos could be something very significant and threes, three, three, threes, things like that. Um, yes, we're going to get some messages uh, from those in a minute, but it's showing that, you know, um, some of you might be having like deja vu experiences. Like you feel like you've, uh, maybe dreamt it before something might happen in your day and you think hang on didn't this just happen or when did this happen or like a weird feeling comes over you and it's just letting you know that you're on the right track wow everything's flying on the floor again hang on hang on a minute they love to do this to me all the time it drives me nuts okay we got Isaiah it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life I am watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. So there's going to be a whole new door opening up for the two of you. You might even have a child together. I mean, once again, it's saying give birth. So that's very interesting. Some of you may definitely have children together um, or a child. And otherwise, it's just, you know, birth to new, new, um, yeah, new things together that you can do. You can maybe go on holidays. There'll be many milestones that you can enjoy together. And your person says to you, <clears throat> let go of fear. You are safe with me. Have no fear of making mistakes. Nothing you do or say will ever make me stop loving you. There are no mistakes on this journey, only soul lessons. It's safe to be vulnerable with me. So they might feel that in some ways you've become quite strong. Uh, you're very independent in your path. And it may be that you don't necessarily need love. Like maybe you've just gotten to a point where you think, I don't really need a person in my life. Um, I can just keep moving even though you want it. You know, maybe deep down you really do want this. And um, But sometimes <clears throat> that the independence might take over. Um, and it can be a bit of a barrier. You know, it can be a bit of a shield. Um, because there are fears in opening up uh, in and becoming vulnerable. But your person's saying you can be safe and vulnerable with me. It's okay. It's safe. I won't hurt you again. Because remember we saw that before. And that's interesting. I just saw this on the bottom of this deck here. Karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers turmoil. Resentment lessens letting go and loving you. So it's interesting they said I'm coming out of a karmic situation. So for some of them if they are in a connection... They're leaving that karmic, okay? Um, but they've also been learning, okay, on their path here with karmic stuff as well. So let's get some other cards here. <coughs> here we go. So nothing will come of this situation. What's that to do with spirit? What's that to do with? Where are my cards here? Nothing will come of, I think it's to do with the karmic. I think it's to do with that. So we've got here the emperor, okay, so interesting, I feel like what it's saying is that they, they've they gone, in, they've, uh, they've come into emperor mode, okay, so they, sorry my phone just died um, for a moment, oh, sorry actually someone actually called through I mean, um, so I'm just trying to get my mind again because I was channeling, um, so they're coming into the emperor mode, okay, they're, they're asserting themselves, they're coming into their power, so they are moving away from that karmic situation, they don't want a bar of it anymore, they're very assured of that, they're very sure of that because they were the fool jumping into it and now have learned their lessons along the way, so they're ready to jump out of that situation and into this with you, uh, they want you to trust them, okay, so what else is coming up? So we've got here, don't let pride get in your way. This is for both of you. Your hard work is paying off, okay, and surrender to the divine. Expect powerful change. These two came up in the first reading. Just amazing. So Leo energy, again, look at that. Capricorn, uh, we've got Leo, and yeah, that's amazing. And the um, uh, Emperor is Aries, okay, so that's very interesting. So this is saying don't let pride get in your way. Bring those walls down with each other, you know, because 
Even though you've been working hard on yourselves, don't let pride get in the way. Expect an amazing, powerful change when you let the walls down and surrender to the divine because this is an amazing love, beautiful love that you both share right here. I'm just going to see if I've got everything. <clears throat> have I chosen everything I can't even remember? I think I have because that's why I put everything to the side because I want to make sure I have actually done it all. So what's, what is this one here? What else is coming through for both of you this in the next six months ruminating so you're both going to be thinking about you know the past you've had together and the future that you can hold together as well and ruminating can be done in a negative way or, or a positive way you can ruminate and dwell on the negatives and the fears or you could move into your imagination and ruminate on those things that can be manifested in a beautiful way in your life together so that's just gorgeous. I want to see what else comes up. Choice. Yeah, you have a choice. You both have the choice. What do you want to choose? Are you going to choose each other? Or are you going to choose the fears? Like, what are you going to do? You know? Because um, your person definitely wants you. You don't have to, of course, go back to them if you don't feel like you want to. But there's definitely an opportunity for a new, new beginning together. And it just looks like there's a lot of healing, a lot of fun, a lot of play, things like that. I'm just going to go through the cards again like I did the first reading, just quickly, just briefly. They want you to let go of fear, okay? That's something they're saying to you. You can trust me. I'm, I'm, I will be in control of my life and assured and in a strong position within myself to make the right choices. Um, and there's new opportunities coming in for both of you. It's just going to take some time to just... You know, replenish your energies and, and look at the signs while you're having this time out and recovering, because it did say recovery here, while you're recovering from something, whether it be from maybe you're taking time out from each other or you're just recovering for whatever reason, okay, for whatever reason. In this time, you're both focusing on your health, your energy, um, your self-confidence, okay, that's kind of thing. Your person's got very strong feelings for you. And, yeah, definitely looking at you. They love looking at you. There's something about you that they just find so fascinating, not just beautiful and divine and, and all those things that they look up to, but there's just something about you they just feel so proud of as well. And they're fascinated by you, your energy, just your personality, everything. They are manifesting you. So both of you need to stand firm on, you know, becoming strong, even amongst what other people are trying to do in terms of trying to bring you down on your path. You know, you've got to remain strong on where you stand. Because I feel like there are some strong personalities maybe in both of your lives that um, try to maybe uh, assert, like, their power over you, uh, try to tell you what to do or how you need to be. You know, it can be a karmics, can be a friend's family even. Uh, it could be people who think they've got good intentions, but yet still try to tell us how we need to be. And I think that's something your person's trying to do is break free from somebody who is like that, especially. Um, but look, look, there's the goal of unity, of, uni of union. It's coming in, divine understanding, okay, renewal, peace and hope because you're both going to be radiating out that beautiful light because when there's love for each other, nothing can get in the way of that love, okay? Maybe the only thing that can really prevent it from shining out so much is yourselves, your own fears getting in the way. Um, sometimes when we're influenced by external parties, that can definitely happen, um, but I really do feel that, um, your person, whatever this is here, whether it be a karmic, um, yeah, it could definitely be a karmic and addiction, things like that. They're leaving that, whatever it is they're leaving behind now, because they are making the choice to, to move away from the past, to let the past go, to say, that's going to die now. That past can die. I don't want it. I want to invest in things that are, um, this commitment with you, okay, because they've got this deep love for you. They want to show you. They want to come rushing in, sweep you off your feet and give you pleasure, you know, in so many ways. They want you to choose them, you know, as well. They're telling you they choose you and they want to marry you. You know, that came up before too. I'm pretty sure if I remember now. I'm pretty sure, yeah, marriage sounds good with you, see? So, wow, amazing things. We're going to get some numbers. 
I'm going to get some angel numbers. Okay. I'm going to pick out four numbers. Okay, we've got number one. Ooh, eight is abundance. Oop, two, three, four. Wow, I've got two eights. So we've got eight, three, five, and an eight. Okay. So how I read this is different. Okay. So this is a beautiful book I got from Twin Sanity. Thank you so much. Beautiful. I love this book. So we've got some numbers here. I'm first going to choose the number eight. Okay. You can take or leave the messages, whichever one resonates with you. Take them. You can take them all if you want to. Um, let's have a look for number eight. Okay. This is for both of you. Okay. What's going on? A cycle or pattern is being repeated now so that you understand the lesson. Take time to reflect. And that's what's going on, I feel, in the time of recovery. It's a time for introspection and reflection right now. So you're both becoming very aware of the cycles and patterns that have been repeated in your lives, either together or with other people, uh, which is really opening their mind up to this as well. Now we've got the number 83. Okay, 83. I'm going to do that one, 83. And we've got here, wow. Look on every mistake you have made as an opportunity to learn and grow. Let go of regret. That's what you're both doing. You're looking at the cycles and the patterns that have repeated and looking at them as lessons that you can grow from rather than feeling shame, you know, and um, looking at it as, oh, God, you know, this is horrible. This has happened. I feel so bad. Like that shame, feeling bad. It's just, it's, you know, they say mistakes, but it's actually a lesson. Opportunities to learn and grow. So let go of that regret because it doesn't, it doesn't need to be there. We've got the number 35. <clears throat> so we got here, your angels and guides are ready to support you through any changes you need to make to be more at ease. So anything you might feel uncomfortable with, with this whole journey, they're trying, even within yourself, okay, they're trying to make you, well, they're helping you uh, and supporting you through any of those changes that you need to make to, to be more at ease within your life, to let go of things that don't um, serve you anymore. We've got the number 58. So 58 is... The bumps on your journey are now being ironed out. Know that the worst of this situation is over, which is just so gorgeous, okay? That's really beautiful. So now what we're going to do is do 835. And that one is embrace change and know that all that is occurring is in alignment with divine law. So everything is happening as it's meant to in this connection with your twin or your soulmate. It's all aligning according to the divine law. So just surrender and let it flow. Uh, 358. Says here, it's important to have intentions, but also to be open to events not quite going to plan. Know that God's plan is always working in your favor. That is amazing. So know that just because something might not happen a certain way doesn't mean that it's not meant to be. Now let's get some charms, okay? Let's get some charms. Just quickly here. All right, let's see the charms for group two. That's coming out and that one there. So we've also got... The Aquarius energy. So this is the healing. This is the wish coming true, I feel, as well. And communication. They want to call you. They want to have a conversation with you, a deep and meaningful one. And they want to tell you that they are in this forever with you. This is a bond that cannot be broken. They might even want to give you some jewelry. Because we did see before they want to give you something. And then we've got the shell. So someone's name might be Shell. You might live near the beach. We've got the musical symbol here. So someone could be a musician or they're listening to music when it comes to you. They want harmony in this connection. Uh, you might meet somewhere socially where there's music. And we've got this means they are definitely cutting ties, okay, that karmic stuff. And some of you might live interstate from each other or overseas, okay. So they want to get on a plane and come and see you. 
Um, they might even own a plane for some of you who have someone who's got some money too, I'm hearing. So look, travel. They want to travel with you. So they might want to get on a plane and travel towards you or with you somewhere. Uh, it says there, cruises to the beauty of Asia or the heart of Asia. So there could be some Asian connection here. We've got top cruises. So some, someone might go to an island. They want to go to an island. we got a mermaid too with her back turned, is it? No, nope, she's got a face here. Sometimes it's just one with, the, uh, with no face. It's showing a face on here. So it shows me that they're ready to embrace the future. And she's got her hand on her heart here. So I feel like they really want to embrace their heart felt emotions for you and, and tell you and open up with that there's the musical symbol again so someone might have a tattoo of a treble clef um i don't know why i'm getting tattoos someone might have tattoos uh yes look at this the peacock they want to attract you in they're trying to look their best for you we've also got the pumpkin here so it kind of reminds me of cinderella and the pumpkin <laughs> like they feel like they're running out of time like they need to hurry up and get in and see you soon and we've got the mittens here too so it could be that they like cooking or it could be winter where you guys are so we've got a v and an m t i l g and a s so we've got the word Tim, T-I-M for Tim, Timothy. Uh, we've got Smit, so I see that as smitten with you. Okay, they're smitten. Um, and we've got mitts here too, mittens, which is interesting because that's mittens right there. Um, yeah, they, you light their fire, that's what I'm hearing. There's not much else here. V-M-S-L-I-T-G. Okay, glit, glitter. So it does look like someone likes to dress up, maybe go out. You might be seeing each other at a formal event where there's um, beautiful dress wear or fashion wear. Someone might get dressed up. Um, glitter as in like celebrations, partying, you know, that kind of thing, a gathering. I really feel like that could be something there. And what else have I got here? Scorpio energy, intense, sexual, mysterious. So that's something else as well. So, oh, yes, okay. So if this has resonated, guys, please comment below. Don't forget to put a green heart in the comments section. If you want to be in the draw to win a private reading with me or to go in the draw to win a deck of my cards, divine love messages from your twin flame soulmate, and they say to you, through my lessons, I've become stronger and wiser. Amazing, guys. That is so amazing. Uh, I hope that's helped you today and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. Hi, group three. Welcome, guys. You chose the green tree frog and the light seers tarot. I'm just going to leave that over there for now. Gorgeous little frog. We're going to see what's going on with your divine masculine, divine feminine, your person, twin flame or soulmate. What's going on with them? What energy are they sitting in currently regarding you and your connection? How are they really feeling for you at this time? And what's going to happen? You know, what blessings are coming into your connection over the next six months? Now, I am saying this as in the new year that we're coming into in 2022, but it could be timeless as well. So whenever you're watching this, whatever's, you know, um, the next six months for you, that'll uh, apply for you. All right, let's get started, group three. So what current energy is your person sitting in regarding you group three what current energy empathy so empathy i feel your pain more than you know empathetic in tune with you and i would like to work together to have stability i want to build this with you so this is how they're feeling i don't know if i'm as strong as you think i am interesting some some self-doubt there um or doubting how you see them or how they see themselves, I mean. <laughs> um, wow, yeah, this is really quite a beautiful energy. Your person might be a sensitive person in some ways, being that they are the empath, they can tune into your energy. Oh, wow, yes, the King of Cups is, it doesn't matter if you're asking about a female or a male or feminine, masculine, whatever, this energy is so beautiful. This person has deep feelings for you. Your person has very deep feelings that they're keeping to themselves. And uh, once again, this is the very psychic energy. This is the Scorpio energy. I, I see this as the Scorpio, but it could be Pisces or Cancer as well. 
seeing as we've got the um, fish there and the ocean. Um, <sighs> your person is deep in thought at this time about you. They're sitting down and they're just feeling your energy. They're just like tuning into you, whether it be like a conscious thing that they know they're doing or they're just sitting there contemplating and just really reminiscing or thinking about you and feeling you, you know, feeling your energy. They might be looking at a photograph to kind of really tune in to your energy. Um, but they are um, very much tuning in, like very insightful, very psychic when it comes to you. And they are trying to build their courage and their strength. See these, see these men here, right? They're holding up this wood. It's like they're making, they're holding up the building, um, the the foundation, the stability, um, the walls, even like the structure. And I feel like your person might feel in some ways that they might appear strong on the outside, but they're not necessarily strong on the inside. They're a sensitive soul, and they are very deep thinkers deep feeling so I feel like in some ways sometimes your words at times or the way things have gone down in your relationship might affect them at times that they just need to take a step back and try and process it and work it out and maybe their feelings get hurt very easily um, I just get a very beautiful sensitive soul with your person and I feel like they're trying to be strong you know they're trying to build themselves up even um, so let's have a look then how are they feeling about you deep down? How are they feeling about you, group three? How is your divine masculine or divine feminine feeling about you? So I'm becoming my best self, healthy, moving away from anxiety. I can't sleep, I don't eat, and I have no sense of inner peace. So that's something that they've been, you know, being an empath especially. If you're, if you're an empath, you know what it's like to pick up on other people's feelings and that's bad enough. But when it's somebody that you love and that you have a very strong psychic connection with, which your person does with you, there's anxiety here. They can't sleep. They're not eating. Trying to become their best healthy self. Trying to become strong. Maybe there's an addiction here for some of them as well that they're trying to rid themselves of. There might be insomnia, okay, not being able to sleep at night. Um, I want to get more info. What are they feeling for you, group three? Yeah, they want to jump into this with you. They want to take the risk with you, but they're anxious, see? They're feeling anxiety around it because it's a massive thing for your person. Maybe they do, and maybe they're very good at hiding their true feelings, which is very uh, <laughs> very um, in line with the King of Cups. The King of Cups remains composed. They, re they remain reserved. They, they hold such a love. They are very generous and a giving soul, but at the same time, they can hide it. Uh, and put on a bit of a poker face too as to how much like how much the depth is of those feelings okay so very interesting so we've got here the fool so they wanted they want this new beginning with you they want to dive deep with you but they're anxious about this and, and they're not feeling you know he or she is not feeling that they are at that place yet within themselves to be strong enough to take that step or to take that risk and they might be anxious that they're going to lose you before, you know, they, if they don't do it, they're going to lose you. Um, yeah, so they might feel a bit foolish in some ways too. And we've got the Page of Swords, so they are definitely keeping their feelings to themselves right now. Uh, they might be looking you up online, they might be um, researching, you know, relationships and how to come forward and and I'm almost I'm almost getting that feeling of like self-help self-therapy self-help books podcasts um audio books that kind of thing on relationships I'm, I'm really feeling that your person's doing that they're looking and reading and hearing um and researching into all things about how relationships work what's the best you know tactic to do um <laughs> in dating and all that kind of thing so I really feel like they want to make sure that they're doing the right thing and not looking, you know, not making out themselves, I can't even talk, not making themselves out to be an idiot or a fool, okay? So I feel like they really want to make sure that they have um, uh, studied up on this and studied up on you and, and how, you know, what, what's going to make, 
what's going to be the best move forward to uh, approach this with you okay and it's so interesting because I think the other reading I couldn't talk properly but this feels even more weird I feel like um this actually you know what it feels like there's so much uh energy within me at the moment this is how I'm feeling that I want it to get out but I just can't and I'm trying to control it so that's how I feel like they're feeling is that there's there's so much they want to say and it wants to come out but at the same time they come out awkward so you know you'll you'll know if you're in contact with your person or even if you look into the past even if you're in separation now how awkward they can be around communication um and that's because I feel like being an empath they might be an introvert and being an introvert means they're not necessarily going to come forward and be an extrovert, which is all about that assertiveness and expression and being loud. I think that your person really takes things in. They are, are an observer and um, they really want to make sure they do things the right way. And I also wanted to see what are they actually tuning into because it says I feel your pain. So are they feeling a pain? You know, is that what's making them anxious is that they've caused you pain okay is that something there what is it spirit what are they tuning into with you what's your person tuning into with you your mind telepathy right here and there's the judgment card so this is all about leaving the past behind this is the the transition look at this this is judgment which is all about karma this is one of the karmic cards here see how she's kind of just uh, letting go, she's surrendering and she's um, liberated, okay, her spirit is set free, so it doesn't mean a, like a death, but it can represent symbolically even, like shedding the old and bringing in the new, so this is, a, this is almost like similar to a death card where you're letting the past go and you're bringing in the new, this is renewal, this is all about uh, breakthroughs as well. So I feel like your person can feel you leaving the past behind. And that's why they're afraid and anxious because they feel that you've gained some clarity now. You've gained some truth on them and this connection and that you just want to move on from this. And that's why they're trying to, uh, they, well, they want to speed things up where they can, um, you know, jump in, but at the same time, they know they need to take their time and work on themselves. So there's, there's some interesting stuff there. That's the Scorpio energy, Pisces or Cancer, Gemini, uh, Libra, Aquarius, okay? And we've also got um, Gemini right there, that's right. And this is Jupiter, which would be Sagittarius energy too. So very interesting. So let's see what blessings are coming into your connection. Holy crap, hang on, <laughs> so many, wow, major life change, time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence, so there's major things going on here, okay, so there's a new lifestyle or location, maybe, you know, one of you moves to be with the other or in the same area as the other, um, it says a new lifestyle, so there's great joy that can come in with this, okay personal riches small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on the way finances could improve dramatically but avoid get rich schemes so what i see here is that this is abundance right here you could both be um getting some small windfalls okay or big windfalls it may it looks like there's a major life change going on so even though it's saying personal riches i feel like it's a major rich you know major riches here um it's a major successes are coming in okay so it could be small little ones with with um your partner but it could also be major ones as well that kind of bring you together and then we've got luck so a sudden change of luck is likely things are working in your favor excellent time for networking and then we've got society so say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way excellent networking opportunities and new love interest for singles will be the result so when I see this I see that there's luck in your connection you're both going to be networking um, maybe through your networking individually you know you're going to be uh, like independently um, maybe you are within the same networks like within your social circle as well maybe you work together maybe there's just in your uh, community people that you um, network with that they do as well so you're kind of brought together in that way as well could be online even you know there's there's, there's certain things like when we look at a network it's like a web 
So when we see that, you're all connected. You and your person are connected with everything. So there's amazing things coming into your uh, connection right here. And there's online. So there could definitely be with this card here. Um, maybe you communicate online with each other. Okay, especially if you're at a long distance from one another. Now I've got these beautiful tarot, um, uh, what is it, tarot of sexual magic cards here. And these were beautiful um, gifts from Mandy, uh, Twin Sanity. So I'm going to be using these and some of these have um, nudity in them and sexual positions. So if it's not your cup of tea, you can always just fast forward this section. But I'm only pulling out one card here. So what is the other blessing, okay? What does your person fantasize about? We've got the Ten of Pentacles here. This is, oh, the Ten of Pentacles is a beautiful energy. This is indulgence. This is being in, like, it's usually about family. It's tradition. It's um, the end of the cycle. And it's the happy home, happy family. So your person just wants to lounge around with you all day, eating, um, you know, eating with you and enjoying the riches in life, like the personal riches here too. We see the small successes Oh, I was just wondering what that noise was in the background. It's okay, it's my washing machine. <laughs> but they, that's so funny, I was just thinking of that. They want to put you in a spin. Like, they just want to, they want to be able to just relax with you and lounge around with you at home and just, you know, just sit back and eat and maybe just enjoy each other, indulge in the, the finer um, luxury, you know, the finer riches in life, the finer things in life. So I feel like um, they, are, they are at home with you. They want a commitment with you. The Ten of Pentacles is a long-term commitment. So your person's in it for the long haul. That's what they want with you. So let's see, okay. So could be that your person does like food in the bedroom with you too, like being intimate with food, getting creative, stuff like that. Um... Let's see, if they're a masculine, let's see what they want to say to you, okay, if it's a masculine. There is nobody else in my heart. They Look at that, see, their eyes are on you and their, their heart is with you. And you are the most gorgeous thing I have ever seen and I want to trust myself again. So they're still trying to build that uh, courage and strength within themselves, get healthy. Uh, there's something maybe that they let themselves down with that they... They need to make sure that they um, are disciplined and it will never be over between us. Now, <clears throat> if you're dealing with the feminine, oh, she says, it drives me mad when you ignore me, don't you care? So they might be feeling that you, you know, you're kind of moving away and your mood gives me a headache, your moods give me a headache. That's that empathy, okay? So if she's if she's really in tune with your moods, uh, she might be feeling an up and down energy, um, not sure what you want, and I'm still wearing the smile you gave me, and I love you so much it hurts. There's another one over here. I miss talking to you about the little things. It's those things that mean so much. Oh, gosh, my um, throat is feeling a bit congested today. Okay, so let's see. This is it's probably interesting too because we're talking about communication. <laughs> it's a hard thing for your person to come forward with. And I feel like my throat's closing up a bit. So I'm, I'm just thinking that the more I tune into this and the, their feelings for you, the more I'm feeling nervous. And I think that's what they feel when they think about stepping forward and, and revealing their true feelings, their real depth, you know, that depth that they have. Um <clears throat> It's the deep feelings within that they're afraid of too, I think. Yes, here it is. I'm truly sorry for all the pain and drama I've caused. You didn't deserve that. So they've hurt you in some way. And that's why it says here, I feel your pain more than you know. Because they're in tune with you. They're psychically in tune with you. And it really does pain them, even though they, you know, they might seem like they don't care. I don't care about what other people think anymore. I just want to be with you. So that might have been a major thing that they might have been too busy worried about what other people would think of you and their connection uh, or them, you know, you two being together. And I miss you so much. It hurts. I need to stop fighting what I'm feeling and just take action. But I really struggle with communication. There it is right there. They're struggling with communication. They really miss you. They're in tune with you, trying to be strong. They really want to be with you, only you. Um, I'm hearing they only have eyes for you. There's nobody else in their heart. 
and they miss you so much and they don't care anymore what other people think. They just don't want to be controlled by that anymore. So I was not looking for something like this and I want more with you one day. So they were not looking for this, but now that they don't have it or that they feel that you are moving on, they now really want more with you. They now know what they want. So your name is following me everywhere. So they're seeing your name. So whether it be, <coughs> excuse me, whether it be they're hearing your name on TV or, you know, overhearing your name in a conversation or they might see your name on a number plate on a truck or, you know, it could be anywhere in a book they suddenly open up or an author of a book somewhere or whatever. They just keep seeing your name. And it just, yeah, it just keeps showing showing up and reminding them. And I find you in music. So you could be musicians. They could be a musician. Uh, music is definitely a strong factor here as well. I feel like they're listening to songs about you. Um, yeah, so let's see. And, oops. Oh, where are we? Don't give up, polar bears. So if you see polar bears today, that's a sign as well to not give up. <coughs> Excuse me. And because there's healing power involved here, because there's a lot of changes going on, so prepare for the changes that are about to happen in your connection. Prepare for the changes because healing is coming in finally. Don't give up. The healing is coming in. Um, yeah, it's really quite beautiful, that. What am I doing? I've got heaps more to do here. So uh, I'm getting a bit confused <laughs> with what I've done and what I haven't done. So let's see what else is coming into the connection. Let's see. So open. They're going to be open with you. You're both going to be open with each other. Okay, this is about the blessings in the actual connection. So you're both going to be open with each other and inspired. Okay, inspired to take action inspired to open your hearts to each other and doting towards each other which is beautiful and truthful the truth is coming out okay fortunate so there's that luck there's the luck and the personal riches coming in um with it with both of you now this could be both of you have abundance you know in your careers together could be luck with money you know that kind of stuff that can come in and also be a beautiful um fortunate thing to happen between you in your lives together you might have wealth you might have good health there's all sorts of things going on there and also optimism so you're going to come through with being optimistic rather than stressing out about the past because I feel like there is this definite healing power around the two of you uh, where they actually want to come in and let you know their true feelings they want to let you know that they do um, they do miss you they do want you and they're sorry if they pushed you away or made you feel pushed away or pushed aside. And so girl talk. So time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So somebody's going to be hanging out with some friends. And the dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapting, changing, healing. Now what I feel like this is, is that the feminine it looks like here, or it doesn't even have to be the feminine, but someone's surrounding themselves with female energy and they're talking about the truth that's now come to them. So it could be your person doing that, could be girlfriends that they have, or it could be a mum or you, that you're talking about what um, you have found, okay? It's like an epiphany in this connection, what has come to light regarding change and healing that's needed in this. And that's really awesome, because both of you are ascending, see? Transcending obstacles, learning and expansion, a new phase and preparing for union. So it's absolutely beautiful. So, angels are protecting this connection. Yes, it's, you are spiritually connected. So if you're not physically together, you are definitely connecting spiritually. There's telepathy, there's dreams, strong dreams here. Um, the angels protecting you even on the astral, okay, in the 5D, the surrounding the love with the, the you know, this true love I just saw on the bottom of the deck. So there's true love here. They're surrounding this with their violet flame. Okay, and that's interesting. I just realized I didn't pick up the rest on the bottom here. But look at that. Soulmate. From a distance. You're at a distance from each other. Communication. There's a, a legal like contract that you're saying goodbye to and releasing. Look at this amazing. 
didn't even mean to leave them behind, but it's meant to be. You're both saying goodbye to a karmic contract and releasing it. And then there's going to be communication coming in, even if it's distant communication, because you're both soulmates or twin flames. See, that's amazing. So, wow. Oh, wow. This just fell out in a weird way. Destined love. Because this is the destined love, guys. And you know this. You feel it. Your person's feeling it. And pay attention to the signs. So the signs could be that you're hearing and seeing their name as well. Um, you're both seeing signs. You know, you're both hearing that your names... You're dreaming of each other. You might be seeing feathers in your path or certain things like songs that play on the, on the, on the TV or wherever on the radio and you're hearing it and you're thinking of your person and you're just having that real connection. It's a, it's a weird thing. Like you just, you just know that they're thinking of you in that moment. Um, so yeah, it's quite amazing. So let's see what else is coming up for you guys. This is for group three. Wow. A wish is coming true, guys. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. So there could be an Aquarius here with this one as well. Um, but definitely a wish coming true, guys, in this connection for healing and everything. Look at that fool on the bottom of the deck. Have the courage to embrace change. Take risks. Be adventurous. And what did we say with their energy, how they're feeling for you? They, they, you know, they want to jump in, but they're a little anxious right now. But it's ta saying that you both are going to jump in, you know, have the courage to jump in because there's miracle healing occurring between the two of you. So, <clears throat> so planting seeds, okay, seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul. So what you wanted, okay, you planted that seed with the thought, with an intention or a desire. The, se the plead, that's what I was saying, the seed was planted, so now it's coming to fruition because that wish is coming true. All the hard work that you've done in maintaining that seed and that little seedling to grow is working. It's happening. All the healing, all the um, manifesting, letting go, surrendering, healing, purging, whatever you're doing, it's all coming now to, um, you know what's coming out? This, communicating freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. That's what is coming. So that might have been what you wished upon a star with is for communication to be healed between the two of you. For the truth to come out and it's coming out. And it's coming out in a deep way. And this is something your person's ready or preparing themselves for to come in with. Because they know you deserve the truth and they want to share it and they want to give it to you. Um... Very beautiful. So let's have a look here with these cards. So we've got here the Shadow Queen acquiring knowledge in security manipulation. What is this about? This is a shadow right here that needs to be healed, see? That's something going on there. So the wise woman of Wonderland, integrity and compromise. So that's something that is going to be worked out is the insecurities. Any type of manipulations that are done from those insecurities. Um, and it's like they don't need to do that or you don't need to do that anymore. Whatever this is here, this shadow of um, having to sit back and and get information about the other person through other people or through social media or whatever. It's just not going to be needed anymore. You're going to have integrity, both of you, to come together and actually communicate openly with each other. So you're not learning about each other through other means or other, like even for some of you, it could be legal through mediators. You know, whatever it is, there's, there's a mediator maybe somewhere or, or some kind of something in between where you're finding information out um okay so it could be that you've blocked your person and yet you've got another account you're spying on them with or they could be doing that with you whatever it is this is going to end this is coming to a close this energy because it's a shadow but the integrity is com coming through okay it's really good so we've got conclusions are within reach so beautiful so amazing and we've also got, what do you need to release? So yes, that's that shadow part there. Other things might come up as well. And we've also got here, bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So the new moon in Aquarius is coming up in 
I think it's uh, January, okay? January or February, one of those. I can't never remember it. I think it's, I think it's uh, January. So, yes, it is January. So bring love into the situation. That's going to happen around that time. So no matter what's going on, there's going to be some love sent to each other, you know, on the 5D, in the 3D, whatever. You're going to be bringing love and compassion into this. Archangel Uriel says, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. So that's what the angels are protecting this connection with also, is your own anger and uh, unforgiveness, okay? Because that's what uh, festers within and it's an open wound and it just is a constant cycle that you don't want to be a part of. And what do you need to release is the anger and unforgiveness if that's still within you, okay? healing it's healing it's really beautiful so that's the blessings coming in and so your person wants to say to you inspiration you are so special to me for so many reasons there is no one else who inspires me quite like you i'm so proud of you your achievements talents and gifts your love encourages me to strive for more out of life which is just so beautiful and the 14 is the temperance energy in the tarot which is all about patience and healing so it's really beautiful guys this reading it just shows, I'm just going to do a, a quick, a quick, um, what do you call it? What am I saying? A, um, a recap, okay, of everything that's come through because I did this with the last two as well. So basically what's happened here is that your person's tuning in very deeply, okay? They hold a lot of love for you. They're, they're tuning into your pain and they want to come forward and make it right because they understand now. They have an awareness of what it, what it meant to... Um, to cause you that pain so deeply. They didn't understand it before, but now they do. They want to give you everything, a long-term happiness and commitment and monogamy. That's something I'm hearing very strongly there. They want to build this with you. They want to be strong to do it, okay? Because there's major life changes coming in and they can feel it and they, they want that major life change with you. See, there's massive changes coming in. They want to prepare for this. They want to dote on you. You know, there's healing powers coming through. They know that they're spiritually connecting with you. The angels are connecting with you they know this is a destined love okay they're not going to give up on this and um, they're trying to become stronger in themselves right now there's something they're trying to get better with whether it be a habit or an addiction but they want to you know it could be something like uh, their own issues of commitment so they're, they're wanting to jump in you know this is something they're going to do is jump in even if they're, uh, they are anxious they're going to feel the fear and do it anyway that's the, that's the name of a book, actually. So paying attention to the signs, you know, communicating freely is something really important here because they understand um, what it is you need now from them. They know that you just want to know the truth. You just want it plain and simple, even if it hurts, you know. But that's not something they're coming through with this time. They're not coming through with pain. They want to come through with love and, and let you know what they really feel, which is that they miss you and it hurts. And they're truly sorry for everything that they've caused you, the pain and everything. And if they allowed other people to get in the way or if they were ashamed of the connection for whatever reason or just didn't stand up and, were, you know, showed other people that they were proud or you that they were proud to be with you, that's going to change now. They want this to change now. So there's good luck coming in around the connection. If they're listening to music and thinking of you. They're seeing your name everywhere. They miss you. They miss talking to you. Um, they just miss you so much it hurts, but they're keeping an eye on things. They're, they're getting into their self-help right now and therapy and observing things and studying things, maybe even creating music, maybe writing a song about you. We've also got the wish upon a star. You know, that's coming true. So let's have a look at this last cards here. What else is coming in is sleep. So you both need to rest. Rest up and take time out in this time to, you know, um, recover because your dreams are going to bring out amazing stuff through this as well and kindness. There's going to be kindness between you. You're, you are actually meeting up in the, in the dream land, okay? In the astral, you're definitely meeting up. But even in your um, 3D cells, you know, you need to just replenish your energies because there's a lot going on. Um, maybe individually, but also in this connection. There's been a lot of stuff going on in this connection. Some might say it's been a bit of a roller coaster, um, but there's a kindness coming through and compassion now. You're going to extend that out to each other. I think that's just beautiful. Now I'm going to get a number, okay, numbers for you. 
gonna grab my book. Gonna get some numbers. This is the angel numbers book that I got from Twin Sanity. Thank you, Twin. So, all right, let's get some numbers here, okay? So I'm just gonna move these out of the way for now. Beautiful message, guys, beautiful reading. So, let's have a look. One, two, three, four. So we've got here, okay, a number two, what is it? Number two, one, I'm going to take that as a six, and a, another two, two, one, six, two. So I'm going to take that as a two to start with. You can take whatever resonates, you don't have to take all of them, all of them but you can take them all if you want. So there are opportunities for connection and union at this time. Relationship growth is imminent. Wow, I'm loving that. That is so awesome. So now we're going to do 21. Okay, 21. Oh, I'm a bit puffed out now. So your connection to the universe is really strong and you are being filled with inspiration and guidance. Be open and aware. So what that means is that be aware of the signs coming your way. Be aware of the feelings, the gut feelings that pull you in certain directions. Number 16. Oops, where is it? So you are being invited to upgrade your choices and move toward experiences that support your joy and purpose. Let go and move forward. So keep ascending because you're both coming into union. Okay, and then we've got 62. So 62 says, take time to see the points of view of those you may be challenged by at this time. Call on the angels of harmony to ease any challenging relationship. So anything that's been a challenge in this connection, call in the angels to help you to see their point of view, which is that kindness that comes through. You're both going to see that. You're both going to have that. So 216. Your angels are inviting you to see yourself through their holiest and most loving eyes. See your beauty inside and out. Because that's what your twin or your soulmate also sees, okay? They see it all. They see your light. They see your beauty. So we're now looking at 162. So this is beautiful. So your angels are guiding you to be the peaceful one in your current situation. Hold the light. So beautiful. So hold the light, okay? It's interesting because this one has gone down, this one here, and this one's shining brightly. So someone might be, you know, your person might not have the energy. They're still trying to build their courage uh, or, you know, build themselves up and be strong and they're anxious and all those things. So maybe their light is dimmed a little bit. Keep holding the light for them, okay? Keep, keep um, praying. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. Okay. I'm going to get some charms quickly now. Let's get some charms. Sorry about my coughing. Uh, let's have a look. Okay. Here we go for group three. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Okay, so you got the teardrop. <laughs> I love this. This is the tears of joy coming in. After the tears of sadness, there's tears of joy. I love it. There's rewards. And we've got the headphones. So someone might be listening to music thinking about you. That's what I see with that. And also the trumpet. Someone could be a musician, guys. Um, blowing your trumpet. This is victory. This is like the ju this is like the judgment card with um, blowing the horn or the trumpet. Okay, for for the breakthrough, for the victory. That's what I hear is there's going to be victory in this relationship. The winds are changing, see? See? So be prepared for change, the winds of change coming through. Someone could might, might live in, was it Holland or Denmark? I think they said they came from because there's windmills and that there. Okay, so we also got the mittens. So this is cooking mittens or it could be winter gloves, you know. So that's something there someone might wear. Um, it's interesting because they look nothing like it, but I'm getting motorbike gloves for some of you. Your person might ride a motorbike. Uh, we've got made with love. So they might want to make you something with their hands, create something, build something, make something that's of love, um, that's from love. Like I said before, they might even be writing a song for you. 
So we've got the guardian angel. I love this. This means the angels are protecting and looking after this connection. Just pray to them. Ask them to help you through it. And we've got the dolphin too, which are playful, fun, cheeky soulmates. Uh, it's about celebrating. It's social. Your person wants to come in and, you know, have fun with you. They want to show you that you are their person um, as well. And they might live near the beach. We've got a baby rattle. So someone might have a baby. You might have children together they might want to have a child with you or they have child children uh, we've got the violin or the cello as well so someone plays an instrument perhaps um, but there's, there seems to be a definite connection with music between the two of you you might share a special song we've got the pliers here so it shows me they want to come in and fix it and we've also got secret love so they are actually looking at you from afar I do feel like they could be uh, spying on your social media and we've also got here the scissors, so they're open, so it shows me that something still needs to be cut from their life, so it might be an addiction, a karmic thing going on there. But they want to anchor themselves into your life. Isn't that beautiful? So they want this long-term stable commitment with you. They want to make home with you somewhere. And we've got the top cruises here, islands, so they might want to take you for a holiday somewhere and travel, okay? Uh, or be with you. If they have to travel towards you, that kind of thing. So we've got a V, a H, a Z. Is it a Z? An O, a U, and an F. Let's get a couple more. We've got a Y, W, and an A. So we've got the word uh, way, okay? They're going to find a way towards you. I feel like they're going to follow their heart which will, um, both of you are going to do this. You're going to follow your hearts to each, towards each other. Um, I've got the word fey. Um, the star's just, the star. <laughs> I think it's just me making moves on the table, but it's so funny, it's just brought my attention to the star. Once again, the star. The wish is coming true, guys. It's just amazing. Yeah, is that an O? Yeah, that's an O. So I'm, I'm seeing the word, even though it's not an N. I'm seeing the word now, okay? Like it's a Z, but it looks like an N. So now, it's happening now. So keep putting in, um, you know, in the present moment. Think of it as in the present moment that you're healed and that everything's working in your favors together. <clears throat> I can't see anything else really on this, to be honest. Um, Z H O F A U W Y and a V. The only thing I could really see is hay, hay. So that could be someone who lives in the country where the horses are or cattle or I don't know. Um, they might be someone that just says hay. <laughs> when they text, it might be hay. And that, that might be all that you get from your person is a hey, but that's still something, isn't it? Like they're opening up the door for, for a channel of communication if they if you haven't been in any contact for a while. Um, they just want to test the waters, perhaps see where you're at. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I'm getting the word foz. So weird, foz. No idea what that means, foz. Um, hmm. And was... I don't know, guys. I think I'm just seeing things like Wazza, Wazza, Wazza. <laughs> W-A-Z. I'm thinking of Wazza. Like, it's like Australian, like, you know, Gaza. <laughs> or Dazza. <laughs> Shazza. <laughs> oh, my God. It's hilarious. Only Australians might understand that one. All right. So what I'm going to do now is get my other cards. Where are they? So if this has resonated at all, guys, any of the reading, please drop a green heart in the comment section below to be in the draw to win a private reading with me or to go in the draw to win a deck of my cards. Divine love messages from your twin flame soulmate. And they say to you, you are the one I dream of. You are the only one I dream of. It's not the right time right now. Um, but let's talk soon, okay, because mistakes are the soul's lessons. Our chemistry is so strong right now, and I want to hug you right now. So they're taking their time, you know. They kind of are restraining themselves and holding back because they know it's not the right time just now. They're not strong as you might think they are, um, but yes, they are going to come forward when they can, okay, as soon as they're able to. And I feel like once that communication opens and you're both able to come from a place of, like, open heart, kind compassion for the other point of view 
um, and listen to what they have to say and really I believe that you will believe what they're telling you once you hear from them um, because I feel like there's this once they open up and start talking they might just really just let it all out then and tell you exactly what they want where they stand with you how they feel about you how they miss you um, there's got to be this space of trust uh, that I feel that they need to feel from you that they that there is a space for them to open up and talk so just being aware of that as well because if you're coming across as aloof or um, maybe blocking them or whatever it might be that's not going to help them to encourage them to come forward so just being aware of how your energy is sitting as well at the time um, but it just looks amazing guys there's major changes coming in keep pushing forward love yourselves and i look forward to connecting with you next time love and blessings